Hello Stampers, Kelly Atchison at Stampabump.com coming to you live from Menasha, Wisconsin. So I just posted pictures of that beautiful baby. Oh my gosh, I got to go visit her. I just came home from her house. Hi Heather, welcome. And um, she is so tiny. Holy cow, she's just this little tiny little button. All her newborn clothes are way too big for her. They like fall off of her. So <laughs> she's really, really cute and I couldn't be happier. And yes, Haley went home today. So um, they said there was no reason why she shouldn't. Everybody's healthy and happy and they are doing well. And she said her and Jared just really wanted to get a good night's sleep in their own bed, if you know what I mean. And you guys all know what I mean, right? Hi, Sandy, Sandy, Sonia. We've got Terry just popped in. I am going to bring my live up here so I can see your messages when I flip you around in a little bit here. Oh, let's see, where's the live? Oh, I gotta unpin this one. I usually try to do that before I go live. Hi, Charlene, hi, Sarah. Yeah, so everybody's doing good and the cat seems to be okay with the new baby. And, um, yeah, it's like a whole new experience, right? <laughs> She's so precious. Okay, so I don't have any mail to share with you because I shared it all yesterday, right? And um, we don't get mail on Sundays except Amazon. And I didn't get any Amazon packages either, but I'm really disappointed because I sent Haley or I, I, I ordered a big bouquet of flowers and some baby balloons to be delivered yesterday and they didn't get there. And so that really stinks. Like, where are those flowers? So I'm going to have to investigate that in the morning. And, um, yeah. So, darn it. Anyways, we've got some winners from Facebook Live last Sunday. So I do Sunday to Sunday and then daily, right? And um, I just wanted to give a shout out here. I've got some of the colored doilies. These are so fun to use with your cards. This is for commenting from last Sunday, and our big winner is Julie Hillsman. So congratulations, Julie. I am very happy that you won. We've also got a um, pack of the Tropical Oasis Memories and More cards. These are really fun to either scrapbook or make cards with. It's, it's, a, it's just a really neat thing to have these elements. And this would be for sharing the video from last Sunday. Our winner for that is Lois Fairherm. I said that right, I'm pretty sure. Lois, congratulations. And Kim says she would demand her money back for those flowers. Yeah, I know, because they're, they were a lot. <laughs> right? And last but not least, I am giving away a Tags in Bloom stamp set. Now this matches our fancy and fancy label punch. I can't remember what, I couldn't remember what it was called. They're still, the punches are still available for this one. Who knows what these punches are called? I know you guys know. I'm looking right now. Anyways, I've got a Tags in Bloom stamp set that I am going to give away. And our big winner, can't find the punches. <laughs> our big winner is Lucia Lease. So congratulations, Lucia. Lucia won this stamp set um, with her order in the last week. So I always do a, a drawing on everybody that orders from me also. Is anybody coming in with the name of this? <laughs> the punches that go with this? I could grab the punches quicker than I'm finding them in the catalog. I'll just wait for you guys to pop in here while I'm still perusing. Maybe I'm never going to find them. Nope, I'm not. Hang on. And here we go. Label Me Fancy Punch matches this. Yeah, that's a fun punch. And Label Me Lovely. I was really close. <laughs> so <clears throat> this goes out to Lucia Lease. And I will be getting those out in the mail this week. Thank you guys so much for everybody that shares, comments, and places orders. I appreciate all three of them. I'm going to set these back. I still got to get Lori's prize in the mail too. I think Lori won, right? Yeah, I'm pretty sure she did. No, maybe that was the other day. I don't know, but I've got that prize over there because I have to trip on it to get out of my room so it doesn't get lost with other stuff. So I've got some prizes to get out in the morning. 
And tonight, I'm super excited because I have been saving this for a long time. I wanted just kind of the perfect scenario to be able to share this little six by six one sheet wonder with you. And I will show you the, um, oh, maybe I'll show you. Hang on, maybe I won't. Maybe I'll do something with it. I'm gonna look in the back of the catalog as long as we're still waiting for people to come on and see if I can find these dies. And I think they're still current. Yep, they are. Uh, we'll see what we do with that. I don't know if I'm gonna share the original with you or not. I might keep that and remake it for another night. So anyways, I've got a really, really cool um, four card project to share with you tonight. So I don't wanna waste any time because I think this is probably gonna take me a little longer than I think it will. I hope I'm prepared. I got everything kind of done early. <clears throat> I also had a note here someplace. Oh, I know, I wanted to tell you guys, my next online class that is available when you buy the whole bundle, you get it for free, available with the pre-cut cardstock pack or available just as a PDF. That class this month is going to be Country Club and I'm probably gonna be loading up all the ordering buttons for that maybe later tonight or tomorrow morning because the Country Club is also retiring. And that is, this suite of products from the spring mini catalog. This is a fabulous suite to be making masculine cards and we are going to have nine cards available with this online class. And of course, if you order a set bundle, um, you're gonna get it for free and I will have all the items listed that need to be ordered. Now, you can fill out the form and I will send you an invoice through PayPal or you can order the things on your own and just pop me an email and say, Kelly, I ordered everything on your list and I will send you the class for free and the pre-cut cardstock pack. So, <clears throat> excuse me, I got a frog in my throat. Those are going out, <clears throat> excuse me again. <sighs> Those are going out sometime in May. I haven't really had a chance to look at my calendar because we've had a little bit going on here. <laughs> 57 hours of labor really takes away, right? That poor girl, can you imagine? I know people have probably done longer, but that's a, kind of as much as I've known somebody to um, have a baby, right? <laughs> so the other thing that I have going on is my kit class for the month. My kit class is going to be using the Buy the Dock bundle. And um, I'm not, I don't know exactly off the top of my head what's included in the kit yet. I do have it recorded, but I haven't gotten that together. So I'll get that button out too. Uh, next, whoops, hang on. Um, ooh, that's gonna double up. I don't know if I wanna announce that class on Friday or Saturday because Friday I have the Stamping Society blog hop. So we'll see, that'll be announced on Friday or Saturday, May 1st or 2nd is my kit class. Those have been so popular. Thank you guys so much for ordering those kits from me. I, I really appreciate it. And then next Thursday is the Paper Pumpkin Blog Hop. So if you're not familiar with Paper Pumpkin, it is a monthly kit. I have mine right here that you get in the mail. It's got a stamp set in it and all the little goodies to make the cards. All the cards are cut and scored and um, it's just a really nice kit and I make alternate ideas with this. So when you order, subscribe to the kit, subscribe to the kit through me, I can send you a file that has at least 15 different alternate ideas for the contents of your kit each month. So that's really cool, right? Yeah, Paper Pumpkin is a lot of fun. I really enjoy it. And I know when Stampin' Up! first came out with our Paper Pumpkin kits, I, they weren't that great, but they're, they're really great now. Like, we've got it figured out, so. Okay, I think I'm ready to flip my screen around and we're gonna make a little one sheet wonder. I've never done a one sheet wonder with a six by six paper before, so I'm kind of excited about that. It's pretty neat. Are you guys ready to flip? Oh, good. Faileen says that she bought the Buy the Dock bundle. I have some really cool cards already made with Buy the Dock, so I'm a little bit ahead of the game. I'm a little proud of myself for that too, because that doesn't happen very often for me. <laughs> Linda just signed up for Paper Pumpkin. You're going to love it, Linda. It is so much fun to get that surprise in the mail every month. Now, I have people that ask me, well, can I get the kit from last month? Nope. 
it is a surprise in the mail and so you have to be subscribed to your paper pumpkin kit by the 10th of each month to get that month's kit there's no back order on that and then a lot of times stamping up has um, refills that you can buy all the consumables in the kit for a um, lesser price because you're not buying the stamp set um, or the ink pad but you can only do that if you happen to be a Paper Pumpkin subscriber. You can't buy the refills if you don't subscribe to Paper Pumpkin. And then the other thing I want to let you know too is if you subscribe monthly, you're good to go. If you buy a prepaid subscription, once you purchase that prepaid subscription, you enter it just like any other item in the online store. Stampin' Up! emails you and gives you an activation code. A lot of people are not watching for this activation code or they see the email come in and they think it's just, oh, it's Stampin' Up! telling me that I ordered and I know I did. So they don't look at it. But you actually have to open that up, click on the link, and use the activation code to start your subscription. Otherwise, it won't start. So kind of a little heads up there. Okay, now I think we're ready. Terry said she just bought the Buy the Doc bundle this month. I love that bundle. Like I've had a lot of fun with it and I'm really excited to make this online class. This is the one that I do. Um, it's the kit class I do with Ashley Pfeiffer out of Canada. So it'll be pretty cool. Okay. <laughs> Anne says no time for stamping. She can't find her counter. She's cleaning her room. And you know what, Anne? That's where I get to. Like I've got stuff. You guys can only see this part that looks pretty decent. What you can't see is everything over here piled up that I have to like walk over to get out because it's it's getting a little out of control again. And when that happens, that's when I have to say, whoa, stop, get it cleaned up, get it put away. And then I'm like, ah, oh, now I'm ready to create again, right? Yes. And Linda said she was looking for that code since you had said that last month. Did you find it, Linda? Because if you ordered the kit or if you prepaid on a paper pumpkin from me, I can find the um, email to resend it to you. Like there's a little place in my ordering where I can say resend the email. So you let me know, okay? Pop me an email and let me know if you need that email again. Because you definitely want to be getting the May kit. It's going to be super cute. It uses our new in colors, which I'm really excited about. Okay, now I'm really going to flip the phone this time. I know I've said that three times now, but I'm really going to flip it this time. You guys, if you get motion sickness, please close your eyes. I don't want anybody throwing up. We don't allow that in stamping at all. Sometimes there's tears, but there's no vomiting. Was that too much? <laughs> hey, it is what it is, right? Keeping it real. Okay, I think I've got everything straight here. Let me get my cord tucked up. So there we go. I think we're ready to stamp. All right, so... <sighs> I, I like really had to think about this a little bit. So I decided I've got several open packs of this um, best dressed paper because it's so, it's just so, so pretty. I decided to pull out some of my florals from the best dressed designer series paper. These are already six by six. So that's um, pretty cool. And I think you could make the cards that we're going to do tonight. You can make them out of any of the printed patterns here or any other six by six cardstock or take your 12 by 12 and cut it down to six by six obviously right so I'm gonna bring in my paper trimmer here and I'm gonna give you a little map now I'll post this map a picture of this map also and I have to give a shout out to my team member Linda Bunts Linda shared this um, map and a set of cards with me Gosh, I want to say maybe last fall or last winter. I've been hanging on to it for a long time. And this is what the map looks like for the 6x6 six six One Sheet Wonder. So I'm just going to pull this up here. Now when we get done with this Facebook Live, this video will be posted to my Facebook page. And you'll be able to fast forward until you come to this so that you can see it and write everything down. And maybe I'll take a picture of it and load that up right away too. Okay, so I chose this pretty little paper with the flowers on it for my six by six um, one sheet wonder. And you can see on here that it tells us this is the first line we're gonna cut and then this piece needs to be five and a half by two. So I'm gonna put this in here up to two inches and I'm gonna cut it. 
okay? And then it shows here that I need to cut off a half an inch and we're not really gonna use that for anything. So I'm gonna take a half an inch off this layer. There we go. So now I've got five and a half by two. That's card number three. And if you want to, I was writing on here, number three. Okay, so we've got that. Then the rest of our piece over here, we need a piece that's two and a quarter and this is four inches wide now. So I am going to cut this at two and a quarter. There we go. And the two and a quarter by four is card number one. So I've got that ready to roll. Then all that we have left is these two pieces down here. One of them needs to be one inch and we are going to put this in up to one inch and we're going to cut that, okay? So this piece is the bigger piece right here. This is for card number four and this one is card number two. Okay, there we go. <laughs> Becky, I'm just reading some of the comments here. Becky says your granddaughter is beautiful. You know, it's kind of funny, but, um, and you guys know this, like lots of times newborn babies aren't that attractive, right? They're all wrinkledy and squished up and, you know, after a few days, of course, they're beautiful. But a lot of times they just look like wrinkly old men. Let's be real about that. But I have to say, that little girl that Haley and Jared had, she does not look like a wrinkly old man at all. She looks like the most beautiful little thing ever. <laughs> I might be just a little prejudiced on that one, right? Yeah. Oh, look at, oh, okay. I'm finding my little pieces. Okay, so I decided to use this forever lovely and I haven't used this in a long time, and I really do love it. This is retiring. So you've got this beautiful stamp set. And what's really cool about this is you've got several different greetings about love, but it doesn't have to be Valentine's. There's a tiny little happy Valentine's Day in here. The rest of it is just to send cards to your loved ones. These flowers right here is a two-step stamping process in that you stamp this, and then you come in and stamp right over top with all of these little doodles and leaves and sprigs. So you can stamp this in let's say red and then stamp this in green. And it, it all fits in and matches up. It's just so pretty. And these flowers are, are distinctive, which makes them look really real too. Along with the um, Forever Lovely stamp set, we have matching framelits. They're on sale right now for $12.80, which is a huge savings on these. Here are the different elements that the dies cut out. So you have an edgelet that does this. You have two sprig dies, so it's the same thing, but you get two dies. This one, you get these little elements that you can put in corners on your layers, so it just die cuts the little dots here. There's some pretty little flowers, and um, I'm going to have to talk to Haley because these flowers aren't in here, and I think she put them in some other set of dies because she had all these flowers out for her scrapbook pages, and she was having kind of a hard time figuring out which flowers went back in which package. So I'll have to talk to her and find those because they're not in here right now, but we'll find them. Then we have this sprig. This matches the stamp, the little leaf stamp that's right here. Then we have these leaves right here that match this leaf. We also have a die for this flower, which is bigger than it appears on the front there. It's a, it's a good size flower. And then you have this that die cuts this right on the corner of a layer, which is super cool, right? So all of these dies come in one package and we're gonna be using a few of them. The other thing I considered using was the Noble Peacock rhinestones. These beautiful rhinestones are also on sale for $4.40. And right before I went over to meet my beautiful little Val, granddaughter, I looked all of these items up to make sure that they were still available in our store, and they are. The other thing I'm using is the layered leaves die, and I think that, or I mean embossing folder, I think that is also retiring, but now I'm I'm kind of second guessing myself just a touch. So let me look that up so I don't give you any bad information because I hate it when that happens, right? Nobody wants to think something's happening when it's not. 
Layered leaves. Where, yep, that is retiring. Layered leaves is retiring. That also is still available in our store. And then, um, I think the ribbon is retiring. I've got that black glitter ribbon there. Let me look quick because I, I didn't look that one up. Oh, it's not retiring. Okay, good, because I love this stuff. We're going to be using that also. Okay, one other thing. Oh, I know what I wanted to show you. So this stamp set is listed on page 81 in our annual catalog. Look at how cool this is. We're not going to do this on the cards tonight, but you can stamp these flower images and then these leaf images over top and the die, the edgelet die cuts out a pattern that you can layer them over top of your stamped image. Isn't that just the coolest thing ever? Yeah, this was very, it was a very unique stamp set and matching dies. So there we go. Okay. Um, I'm missing all your comments here because I'm yakking. <laughs> Sharon says, Valerie is just gorgeous. <laughs> Thank you so much. I know she's really pretty, isn't she? It was really hard for me to leave tonight, and I kind of have to confess that if I had not put my advertising out that I was going to be live at 7 o'clock tonight before I went over to Haley and Jared's house, I probably wouldn't be. I'm sorry. I love you guys, but it was really hard to leave. She is just I could hold her forever. Okay, so we've got all of our pieces cut up here. So um, I'm gonna share the dimensions on all of the layers that I added here so that you can recreate this. But basically, what you're gonna do is you're gonna take a four and a quarter by 11 inch piece. I chose to use Highland Heather with the um, purple flowers in the paper. I just thought that would be pretty. I'm going to fold this. Now this is scored at five and a half and two and three quarters. So it just goes, you know, it just um, folds halfway back. And then, oh no, hang on. I'm missing my black piece. You know what, I betcha I used it. Hang on, I lost my black piece here. Is this it? Uh, this, this is card number four. This is card number one. Okay, so I need to make a black piece. I thought I had this all cut out, but I don't. Okay, no big deal. All right, this is two and a quarter. Is that even cut right? Oh yeah, it is. It just wasn't going in there. Two and a quarter by four. So I'm gonna make this two and a half by four and a quarter. And I think that'll fit, let me see. Oh my Lord. Hang on. I must have grandma brain. What do you think? I got to get out a big piece here. Take a drink. I'll be right back. All right. This is card number one. Four. Yeah, that's what I needed. I must have just cut it wrong. Five, two and a half. Here we go. Whew. Save the day. There we go. So I just have a layer that's going to go under that. And we can glue that right together. So my cards aren't exactly like the ones that Linda made. Um, because I'm using a different die set. There we go. Now I'm starting to sweat. You know when I get a little flustered I have a hot flash, right? <laughs> it's the weirdest thing. Let me take my jacket off. <laughs> oh my gosh. Oh, is Haley on here? I didn't see her pop in. Hang on, I'm stripping. I'm trying to get my clothes off. I've got my bracelets getting all goofed up here. There we go. I wish I could remember where I got this bracelet. I have had it for years and I wear it all the time. I absolutely love it. All right, so back to our card. Here we go. Yeah, Haley looks amazing. She is doing just fantastic. And of course the baby's adorable. You're not gonna get around that, right? I'm gonna bring in a piece of Whisper White here. And was this my scrap? No, that's the one I screwed up on. We're gonna stamp some greetings. So I've got, you are loved. And I thought this would make a nice card to send to any one of my friends or my mother. 
right? Because she is definitely loved. And then I just grabbed some punches. I'm going to be using the tailored tag punch. I love this punch. And I thought at first that it was retiring, but it's not. And I was so, so happy that it is not retiring. I'm trying to get this just to fit in here so that it's nice and straight. There we go. And then I've got this black scrap, and I'm just going to punch out another one. Now, you guys know that I like to layer these punches, right? So you just clip them in half. Add a little bit of glue here, and this just really kind of takes your card to the next level when you do a little border around it like this. Oh, damn. So Haley said um, last night when they were watching, they were actually watching my Facebook Live from the hospital, and she said one of the nurses came in and said, oh, what are you watching? And she's like, well, it's my mom. She does a Facebook Live, and the nurse said, oh, she has a really nice voice. How sweet was that? So maybe Haley got me another stamper. <laughs> that would be fun. Okay, so I'm going to do this. And we're going to bring this in here, and I'm going to put it right here. And again, I just love that black on here. It just really makes it pop. I'm going to move it up just a little bit. And then let me close this for a second. Let's see what I'm doing here. Now, I used... Oops, hang on. You've got this die that has flowers in it. Oops, I got stuff falling all over. You guys know I always put the extras in the back just in case I want to use them for something, right? That I don't that I die cut and don't use. And then you've got this flower. So you've got that flower and that flower. And what I did is I die cut both of them. <clears throat> Excuse me. Where'd my scissors go? Right here. So if you, if you wanted to, you could put this in your paper cutter and cut this, and this could be a whole layer. Whoops, let me get this straight. Hang on, I didn't cut that very good. There we go. This could be like a whole layer on a card. Does that make sense? Like you could make this longer and that could be the top part. So let me find something. Here we go. So picture this, that this is a whole like square layer, rectangular layer. So that's really neat, right? But what you can also do with this is you can just grab your scissors and you can just cut right around here and make yourself a flower. Oops, let me get in there just a little bit more. Look at that. Isn't that pretty? So I thought that was pretty cool. I'm going to take this and use it as an embellishment on my white layer. So let me try to get just a little bit of white glue out here. One more right there. Here we go. Let me wipe the excess glue on my pants. You guys know I do that, right? I really do, too. They wash. Glue washes out, right? And here we go. Okay. Look at how pretty that is. Now there was one other thing I wanted to do here, and that was add a bow with the ribbon. And you can just tie a bow. I'm gonna use my bow jig because it makes it easy and I love it. You can make one of these too. If you're new to me, this is nothing more than a piece of wood with some holes drilled in it. These two middle holes are an inch apart, and the outside holes are then a half an inch from the middle ones. So you've got one inch and then a half inch, half inch, half inch, half inch. These are just nails. So if you don't have a bow jig, have somebody drill you some holes in a piece of wood and get yourself some nails because that's all it is. Super simple. I used to have a friend that made them and she's just not interested anymore because it's, it's too much work for what you get. How's that? And I don't blame her because it is. <gasps> Look at how pretty that is. Okay, so this was card number one from our six by six. So let's keep going here. Um, I do have envelopes that I want to cover the flaps with. We'll see if we have time to do that when we're done. Here comes card number two. Get all my bits and pieces out here. And I'll set that over there. So here comes, here's our envelope. I'm just gonna set that aside. This is eight and a half by five and a half, just your standard card base. 
I'm going to burnish that edge good. And then you're going to take a four by five and a quarter inch whisper white layer and run it through the layered leaves embossing folder. And when you do that, you get this beautiful thing. Now we're going to be using this. This is card number two. Remember, this is our little layer. I've got, this is one inch. Oh, hang on. That didn't work out. Uh, that didn't work out either. Wow, I'm batting a thousand here on my, um, What did I do wrong? Hang on. This, oh, this should be one by three and three quarters, so hang tight. That's why my other layer didn't work right. The black layer, remember? Okay, so one by three and three quarters. There we go. Sorry, you guys. I gave you the right measurements here. So this won't be... I know I'm confusing you, and I apologize. I hate it when that happens. But you'll get all the right measurements. Just because I can't get it together doesn't mean that I won't do better when I type it up. <laughs> okay, so we're going to do this. And then we're just going to take this layer. And it's just a tiny bit of... Tiny bit of designer series paper at the top of this layer. And then we're going to have another black layer. And... I've got a three quarters inch by four inch layer of Highland Heather. Where's my stamps? Right here. So I wanted a long greeting, so I grabbed one out of Peaceful Moments. Any long greeting that's suitable for whatever you want to make your card for is going to work for this. I'm going to have to stand up and see if I can. Oh, very good, Kelly. Whew. Redeeming myself, right? Okay, here we go. We're going to add this to the black layer. I don't know why my screen is not scrolling again. Maybe I have too many things sitting on my laptop. There we go. Yeah, so he says, I'm sure you've had other things on your mind. Yeah, like baby brain. Who said that? Somebody just said that. Jackie. Oh, no, she didn't call me a baby brain. Well, you can if you want. I'm good with it. I don't care. There is nothing anybody's going to say <laughs> that I'm going to deny here. Okay, so once we get that done, we're going to just set that aside. Now, I've got a layer of um, Highland Heather, and this is two and a half by four. And I'm going to take that die, which went right here. I'm going to take that die and I'm going to die cut the bottom of this. And I thought I did this ahead of time, but obviously I did not. So we're going to bring in. Hang on. See, I like to have this part all done for you guys because uh, it's kind of tedious, right? Let me grab another plate. Have you guys ever cracked a plate? Like mine cracked. Look at that. It still works fine. And I have more. But I've never cracked a plate like that before. It's kind of cool. I feel kind of, can I say it? I feel kind of badass about it. <laughs> yeah. Cracked my big shot plate. But it look at it's really quite used, right? And I, I think I did it when I put some I stacked something wrong. But it's because it's worn out. So yeah. Okay. Ingrid said she broke a plate in half. Yeah, I've heard of people doing that. All right, here we go. Well, I should have left that a little lower on here, but it's okay. We're going to be fine. If I have to, I can show you the card that I already made because I was not going to chance it on this set of cards and wing it because sometimes that doesn't go well for me. So I actually made all of these up before I was going to show them to you. That way I don't look like I'm spinning circles. Because that makes me have hot flashes. <laughs> Doesn't it? You guys know. Oh my gosh, she's going to have a hot flash. She just messed something up. <laughs> oh, and I like to get all my bits out of my dies too so that they're ready to go the next time. Because, I don't know, I'm not too picky about a lot of things like this. Like I'm not real good on the whole maintenance thing, but for some reason that makes me crazy. I guess I pick and choose, right? Okay, so we're going to take this. All right, I think we're ready to put our card together. 
I'm going to take this. This has got the layered leaves on it. I'm going to take this thing and I'm going to put it right down here. Yep, this is going to work. I'm pretty sure this is going to work out just fine. Now, one of the cool things I really like about this die is not only does it make these beautiful, I'm just going to add a little glue to these little edges. And I'll show you in a second what I'm talking about. I'm going to put this about right here. Look at how pretty that is. But it also embosses. So it die cuts. And can you guys see the embossed little swirly, spriggy looking things that are coming off of here? It's just really unique. I think it's pretty cool. Now I'm going to come in with this layer and add this right about here. Kind of really interesting, isn't it? I thought it was pretty interesting. And here comes our glitter ribbon. And I'm just going to tie a knot right in the middle. Half the problem with ribbon is that we don't pull enough off the spool to work with it. So I always like to just kind of, you know, like look how much I got off of there just to do this. But it does make life easier. So if you struggle with your ribbon, I suggest that you just pull it off of there so you can use it. Get get that roll out of your way. Because I used to fight with it a lot. Okay, look at how pretty that is. And here we come. I'm gonna add this right to the front. And then I've got a layer for the inside. Now I didn't do anything on this yet, but I'll probably stamp an image in here. Oh, let's put the flower in here. We can do that. Hang on. Oh my God, what is that mark? I got it. Okay. Uh, I'm gonna grab there it is, Highland Heather. And maybe I'll just put this flower in there. I'm going to try stamping it on here first. Oops, look at See, I'm glad I didn't stamp it in there. I got a piece of cardstock on there that would have messed everything up. There we go. Look at how pretty that is, you guys. Now, there's a die that cuts that out. Hang on, I'm grabbing for it. This die right here cuts that flower out, too, so you can, you know, use the die to cut it out. Okay. So that's card number two. We have one more little element, if I can find it. Oh, here they are. I forgot this part. Um, whoops, I die cut some of these little sprigs that come in this set. Okay, these are, I die cut some of these and this and this out of here. And I'm gonna take this and add just a touch of glue to the back. And I'm just gonna put it right over here. Just a little element like that. Kind of just adds a little bit, right? Okay, and then on my other card, I kind of forgot about this. Uh-oh, did I just lose this? Nope, I've got them all. I lost some sprigs earlier and had to die cut some more. So I was going to put this on my mini glue dot, and then I forgot. Okay, so there's my mini glue dot. See how I did that? It was hard to yank off of there, but I got it. I'm just going to put this right here. And grab another glue dot and my pokey tool. Oh, that's not it. Here we go. Just gonna put another glue dot right on top of my sprig and then put my bow back on there. Just like that. So just those really cute little elements. Take your cards to a new level, I think. Okay, so there's the next one. And then did I put it? Yeah, I got that one done. Okay, I'm like, did I finish it? Here comes the next one. Let me get some room going here. We're gonna use Whisper White Thick Card Base. Here's our envelope again. And I just had so much fun with this. I got it done right as Haley was um, messaging me and telling me that they were leaving the hospital did I want to come over um yeah <laughs> of course I did okay we are going to fold on that score line I had it scored at four and a quarter and then 
You're going to need a four, or I'm sorry, yeah, a four and a quarter by five and a half inch piece of cardstock. This is Highland Heather. And what I did is I took this die. Now, this die will cut one edge, but it doesn't cut the other edge, which was um, how this worked, right? It cut this edge right here, but it didn't cut that edge. Now, another thing that's neat in these dies is there is a die that will cut the rest of this edge. Let me see if I can figure it out. I don't know, but it's, I thought it was supposed to cut this. Oh, here we go. It'll cut this edge out, which I'm not sure why you need that edge cut out. That's weird. Oh, I know to do that thing that I showed you. Hang on. I got stuff piled all over. Things are going to start falling. Beware to do this. That's what you do on here. Interesting. Okay, so, I don't know. I'll have to think on that for a little bit. That's got me stumped. Anyhow, what I did was you want to do the edge that's going to cut. So this is the cutting edge. This one isn't going to cut, and you're going to take it, and you're going to run it through your die cutting machine so that it cuts that, okay? So when it does that, this is what you're going to end up with. So I cut it just like this, okay? So this is what it looks like. Then you take this die and you're gonna put it back on here and you can kind of look and see what's gonna cut right here. So I kind of lined it right up with the crink or the, the little corner of this right in there. And I die cut it again. And when you do that, now you have this. So you've got tw this twice on here. It's here and it's here. So that's what I did with this edge right here. Okay, let me move this stuff out of the way. And now you might need to trim it a little bit if you want a little bit more white sticking out. And quite frankly, I think I'm good with this. I think this fits just fine. We're going to add this to the front of our card. And isn't that cool? I love, love, love doing this with these edgelets. I think they're really neat. Yeah, for any of you that came in late, if you would please share my video, you can click on that share button right now. I really appreciate it. That helps my business grow. It gets me more people watching and hopefully maybe ordering. And whether it's online classes or product, I so appreciate it. Okay, here we go. I'm going to put this right over to the very edge. So I'm kind of covering up the whole front of my card. Make sure that I've got it lined up good. Isn't that pretty? I love this. Okay, let's keep going. All right, here's our black layer and here's our designer series paper layer. This was card number three, okay? And here is the map if anybody needs to see it. This piece was right here. So we're making card number three. And I am going to add this to my black panel. So this black panel is just a quarter inch wider. So it's two and a quarter by five and a half. Then we're gonna take some of our ribbon. I kind of wanted all of these to match. I don't know why I'm gonna send them to separate people, but I just thought it'd be nice to have a whole set. And you know, we're using the same designer paper for the one sheet wonder. That's what this technique is called if you came in late. It's a one sheet wonder for a six by six designer series paper. Here we go. I'm going to add this to the front of my card. Make sure I got my ribbon on here straight. I'm going to add that right over here. Isn't that just strikingly pretty? It's the paper. Well, and this, right? These dies are really cool. And then I'm grabbing my white card stock again. I'm going to bring this, oops, excuse me, there we go, bring this back in here and I'm going to stamp wishing you a lovely day. And now I'm going to use my everyday label punch for this one. Line that up in there good. There we go. We've still got our black scrap over here. I'm going to punch one of these out from there. 
And do I need one for the next card? Yes, I do. So I'll just punch another one out right away and we'll have that one so we won't have to do it again. And I'm going to cut this one like this. And again, I'm just going to get that black border around this. Just like that. And here's the other piece. My, I've got, hang on, let me lick my finger <laughs> so I can wipe it on my pants and get the glue off of it. <laughs> Is that too much? Did I just share just a little too much? Possibly, but I know you guys don't care, right? We all do kind of weird things when we're stamping. <laughs> yeah. Okay, here comes our label. I'm using those black dimensionals too. Isn't that awesome? Because I always forget to use them. Here comes my card. I'm going to take this and I'm going to put it right here. And, oh, I hope I don't lose my sprig. Oh, come on. Oh, oh, hang on, I found it. It's on the floor. I've knocked these on the floor like four times today. And I had to die cut some new ones because I couldn't find them. So I'm going to use this guy. And this is Old Olive, which is a matching color in the designer paper. And I'm just going to put it right here. And that's just kind of an interesting little element, right? So there's card number three. Thank you guys so much. And I'm scrolling. There we go. Okay, so there's card number three. Now we have this one left. And this is our card number four. It's three by three and three quarters. I'm actually going to measure it here just to make sure. And for some reason, it wasn't. I think I cut it wrong in that little cutter. Anyways, um, here comes our next one. We're going to use a Whisper White card base, five and a half by eight and a half. I've got Highland Heather in the Layered Leaves folder. That's four by five and a quarter. Another envelope. And then the black layer that goes on here and now this is all jacked up so hang on a second oh yeah look at that just a little bit um I'm gonna trim this down just a little bit so hang on again my dimensions are correct for what I gave you on that card I just think I cut this wrong so my black layer is Three by four. Okay, here we go. Whew. And I think it should be three by four and a quarter. So I'll give you the right dimensions. Don't worry. I hate that when the dimensions are wrong. And if you ever find dimensions that are incorrect, I had somebody email me today about something. Please let me know because I will fix them. I hate that. I don't want you guys like going to make a card and then it's all dumb because I gave you the wrong measurements. Well, this one is correct. Okay, so here we go. That's going to cover up that whole side. And we are going to take this and glue it right on the front. Isn't that just striking? Such pretty colors. And of course the, flower, the floral paper is gorgeous. And here's my white scrap. I'm going to take the, um, you are loved. This one says, I'll love you until the day after forever. This is something you can make and send to your kids. You could send this to your grandbabies or older grandchildren too. Let's not forget them. They're not just dirt. <laughs> but yeah, you could send this to a friend. You could send this to your mom, to your grandma. I think this is like a really sweet sentiment. It doesn't have to be about Valentine's Day. It's a great one to use for many other occasions. All right, here comes our label punch. Everyday label. I'm like, what was that called? I know that one. And again, I'm just going to put a border on it so that it makes this tag pop a little better. And we're going to do another one over here. Okay. 
Here we go. And again with the black dimensionals. And where did our card go? Right here. Oh, before I, oh yeah, no, I'm good. <laughs> Got a little confused there. I'm gonna do this right here. Let's put it right about here. Then I want a bow with our glitter ribbon. By the way, this is called Glittered Organdy Ribbon. You can find this in my online store and it is just spectacular with those little flecks of silver glitter on it. I love it. It's easy to work with. It makes nice bows as you can see. It's just really, really pretty. It's got that bling in it that just adds so much to your projects. This is good for scrapbooking pages, for cards, presents, you know, like 3D items. It would be cool. Then I'm going to grab a mini glue dot and I'm going to put that right, right down here. And I have one more sprig. Oh, oh, and I didn't lose it. Whew, so glad. I'm going to put that right there. I'm going to add one more glue dot because I don't want my bow to fall off right over top of the other one and put the bow in here. And again, that's just that little tiny element popping through here that really makes a big difference on your cards. It's just, it just adds a lot to those. Okay, now let me bring this back out here. Here we go. We've got this was card number two. This is card number four. This is card number three. What was this one? Um, card number two, card number three, and then we've got card number one. So we've got one, two, three, and four. Get all this stuff out of the way. And then last but not least, remember how I told you guys to buy two packs of paper so you don't feel like you have to be chintzy with it? Well, I was not kidding. And I am going to, here we go. I could do two envelopes with that. And now I've used up all that paper in here. And look, I didn't feel guilty about it at all. Here's my second pack. I'm gonna come in here. You could use a different pattern if you wanted to. And I'm going to grab this one. Now, I'm going to cut these each. Hang on a second. I'm cutting these both at two and a half by six. So now I've got four packs here. I mean, four pieces. <laughs> four packs. Four pieces. And here comes our envelopes. So, there you go, guys. Here is our... Again, template for this one sheet wonder. This is shared by my team member, Linda Bunce. And I was just so gracious to have this because I love doing stuff like this. I've been saving this for a long time to share with you. So I thought it would make a really cool Facebook Live, right? And then I'm gonna take all of these pretty pieces and do my envelope flaps. And then I'm gonna have, oh, I'm gonna, I'm going to put this down here because I got kind of a crummy edge on that. My cutter kind of tore it a little bit. And then take your scissors. I still haven't cleaned my snips. You know, they got glue all over them. When you get glue all over them, they start not cutting very good. So I need to get my alcohol out and clean them. My husband had fun today. He actually bought a trailer. He's been wanting one pretty much for the entire time that I have known him, been married to him. So 20 some plus years and he finally got one today. So now he feels like a grown up. <laughs> That's what I always feel like when I get something that I've wanted forever. It's like, oh, I'm finally a grown up. <gasps> Look at how pretty this is, you guys. Is that not just spectacular? Super easy card. You can do whatever you want on here, but it's a great way to use your designer series paper to make some really spectacular, pretty projects. And um, One Sheet Wonders are really fun. I love the challenge. So when I pulled this out today to make this, I love the challenge of going, okay, what bundle am I gonna choose? What's gonna work with it? So I started going through my catalog to see 
what's retiring. I want to make sure that I show people stuff that's retiring because if they can get it before it's gone, everybody's happy, right? So I looked at my retirement products and I ran across several of them. Let me see what else I was going to do here. I had, oh, here's my little markers. So I got up to this one and said, oh, this, I need to do this because it's going to be so pretty. But here I was looking at perennial birthday. I love this set. Like this is one of my must haves also. I'm going to leave my little markers in there. And then I was looking at accented blooms. I like this. It matches the tailored tag punch. And it's just, it's an easy stamp set to make cards with. I really love that about it. And I also thought about using this one on to adventure because I have this one. I thought that would be cute, but then I'd have to color stuff and that'll take too long for me to make four cards for you, right? So I decided against that. But there we go. Here's another cute little envelope. I've only got two more left to go. Now don't forget, if you are looking for a place to place your order, you can head right over to my blog when we're done. Don't leave me yet. But you can head right over to my blog and in the right hand column you're going to find an online ordering button. If you're on a phone, things look a little different in there. So if you just scroll down to the end of my latest blog post, there, um, it's got my signature and you'll see next to my signature it says shop online or something like that. You can get to my online store from there too. Also, I think maybe across the top of my blog screen, but again, I don't know what it looks like on a phone is an ordering button and I always appreciate your orders and thank you guys so much. I've heard from so many of you that um, have placed orders with me recently that you're trying to help me hit my million dollars. I'm excited about that. I have been celebrating with everybody every 10,000 in $10,000 increments. So once I get to the next $10,000 increment, I have been celebrating and I have a giveaway when that happens. It's been a lot of fun. It's a lot of fun to have somebody to share and celebrate with, right? Like if I was just sitting here at home and I didn't have you guys, who would I celebrate with? My husband? Well, maybe. But he's not as fun as you are. Don't tell him I said that. <laughs> I'm not kidding either. You guys are so much fun. I adore you. There we go. So I will, um, I'm planning on being live tomorrow. Again, I don't know what we're gonna do. But watch for those newest online classes coming out. I think you guys are going to love them. I know that one of the cards that I have made for that by the dock kit is spectacular. Like, it's really cool. Here we go. Here's our pretty little envelopes. All of our cards. Look at that. Now, you could put this in one of our acetate boxes. Hang on while I grab one. Got those right here. These are just fabulous for gifts, gift ideas, or just to keep these in if you just want to store them. Um, you can comfortably fit them in here. You get 10 of these in a box, by the way, 10 of these in a bag, and they're called acetate card boxes. When you go to my online store, if you just do a search for acetate card boxes, you'll find them. And they're relatively inexpensive. I don't remember how much they cost, but they're relatively inexpensive. And again, this paper that I used is called the Best Dressed Designer Series Paper. It's got um, all kinds of cute little makeup things on one side and floral on the other, you guys. It's just really cute. You got shoes, perfume, beautiful flowers. It's kind of an interesting combination, right? To have the flowers on one side and then all the makeup-y stuff on the other. It's different, right? <laughs> okay, I'm going to put these in show you how pretty this can be. You can put a belly band around this. I didn't. I don't have anything made up because it just kind of popped into my head. Things come and go out of my head really quickly <laughs> to the point where I feel like a scatterbrain a lot of time. Yeah, I'm just trying to get it past that little bottom part there. It's kind of arguing with me. Whew. Having a hot flash again. See, when I something doesn't go right. There we go. Did you see how I did that? But look at how cute this is. And my first card in here really dresses the whole package up. It makes it look like a gift all by itself, right? I could turn it around, put another card back here. Or, watch this. This just popped into my head. We'll take this 
and put one backwards in here. Or you could put them all backwards, right? Nobody's going to see what you did in there. And look at that. <gasps> Very pretty. You could put a little tag on here, give this as a gift, or just store your cards in here so you know where they are. All right. I'm going to flip you guys around because I don't like talking to the back of your head. So please close your eyes if you get motion sickness. I don't want anybody throwing up. <laughs> you can always find my host code on my blog in the right-hand column or at the bottom of every one of my blog posts. I put that there too. Oh, look at my take your pill just popped up. <laughs> I have to do that because I can't remember to take. I have to take this one pill twice a day and I can never remember to do that. Hmm. So I put a little notice in my phone that tells me and then I'll be in here and I'll like snooze that and then I'll close it and then I'll still forget to take it. I know, right? All right, super cute you guys. One sheet wonder with six by six paper. How fun was that? I want you guys to make some of these. I'll post a picture of this on Facebook, okay? So you have it with a picture of the card so you know why you have it. And um, make these, make some of these up. Take your 12 by 12 paper and cut it to 6 by 6 and make these. Or take your 6 by 6 paper and make it. Start using up your paper. Hmm? Good idea. We have a brand new catalog coming out in June. And you want to be able to buy more paper, right? Yeah. I know I hear from so many people. It's like, oh my lord, I can't buy any more paper. I have so much paper. Use it so you can get some new stuff. <laughs> and buy two packs so you don't have to be chintzy with it. That's what I do. I'm, I'm serious about that, though. Since I started doing that, I am using more paper. And it's like, yeah, but you have an extra pack. No, I'm using it all because I'll actually break into it and use it versus hoarding it because that one special project is going to come along. And I'm not going to have that enough of that pattern paper to make what I want. That's what's always like keeps me from using the paper. So since I started buying two packs, I'm using it. I'm using more designer paper than I ever have. And it's really fun. So the funnest part about this was deciding, first of all, what bundle was I going to use? So I picked the, um, where'd my stamp sets go? Here it is. I picked the Forever Lovely. Now the, the dies are not bundled with this anymore because they were part of our um, a mini catalog. I think it was last year's spring mini catalog. But So I chose this and then I just, I'm just i like, okay, I'm looking at this. I'm like, what designer paper am I going to use? And of course, I decided to go with the beautiful floral in here. The best dressed paper is so, so pretty. I just love it. The stripes, there's just so many pretty things in here. So that's how I came up with my project today. It's kind of interesting sometimes to know how somebody's mind works and why did you choose that and how did you choose it. A lot of people will say, okay, Kelly, I want to make one of these. Now what? Okay, pick your paper first, okay? Pick your paper and then you can just use greetings. You don't you don't have to use a stamp set except for greetings, right? Your sentiments. Start there and then add from it, add to it from there. I think you're gonna find that's a lot easier way to go about it. Yeah. So did I miss any questions, you guys? Because I am looking at them now. <laughs> Betty says she is now ordering two packs. I know. Like, yes, I sell paper. Yes, I want you to buy as much as you possibly can. But I'm not like, that's not like a, I don't mean that to be a sales pitch when I say that. It's the truth. Like, since I started doing that, it's a mind game you play with yourself. Since I started doing that, I'm using my paper. And I'm not just hoarding a whole pack of it either. I don't care anymore. I'm using it because you break into it and then you see how fun it is. And then you have all these ideas and you just keep using it. Yeah, love it, chop it, as Kylie says. That's right, love it, chop it. Use your paper so you can get more. <laughs> oh, and Cindy, you're welcome. Cindy says that's excellent advice on how you chose what you made. Yeah, um, it, it was. It was like, okay, how am I going to do this? I want to do this. I want to do this thing Linda sent me. Bless her heart. Like, I love this. She sends me really cool things like this. Um, I wanted to do that. I should show you her cards. I think I might have shown them, them to you once before. So, 
Um, let's see. We've got, oh, let me get my cards out and I'll compare them to you or compare them with hers as far as the layout goes. So this was my card number three. This is Linda's card number three. Now she used, what is this stamp set called, you guys? I can't, in Tropics or Tropical something or another. It is also retiring. Let's look for it. Um, so that's what made me think of this, is I know that that bundle is retiring. I think it's called Tropical Chic, and it's on page 93, so let me show it to you. It's another really pretty, here's the stamp set, and it doesn't look like much of nothing, right? But it's got really, really cool dies with it. And I think she used a combination of a couple of things here. But anyways, here's her card. Here's my card. Okay. Then here's, here's her card and here's my card. Cool, right? And here's her card. Oops, hang on. Here's my card. So just to give you kind of a variation, and this one I really like, and I wasn't able to do this one because my paper didn't work for this, but look at how cool that is. So she did this, which I really like, but my paper, the back side of this paper wasn't going to look good turned up, but most of our paper will, and it's a really cool thing to do. So you can definitely do this, and all she did was she slit this paper right here. And she folded folded it up and then laid and glued it onto a black layer that's a rectangle and then trimmed this and this to make it look like that. I thought that was really, really cool. And with mine, I made it just pretty simple, right? Yeah. Okay. So there you go. Oh, and I have to show you this. This was an extra card she included for me. And it says, does this make my butt look big? <laughs> And it says, nah, you're just flocking fabulous. <laughs> and can I just say Linda's a funny lady too. So, yeah. Super, super cute. Um, yeah, pretty cool. Joanne says she made about 25 thank you cards today. With this, with what set? With this set, Joanne? Or the tropical one? Yeah. So my um, stamping society, we usually, what did we choose last month? Ornate Garden, I think. Yeah, that was my free tutorial. When you place an order with me, I give you an exclusive video or an exclusive tutorial that has um, video instructions in it for, I believe, six cards. So when you place an order with me, I give you a PDF file with exclusive videos and six different projects. And last month was Ornate Garden. I've been mailing, emailing that out all month. This next one that comes out on May 1st is, oh, what did they call it? Something about not getting inked. Let me look quick. Um, so what we're supposed to do is we're supposed to choose, let me bring my laptop over here. We're supposed to choose a stamp set that we haven't inked yet. Like, do you guys have any stamp sets at home that you haven't put ink on? Uh, yeah, I know you probably do, right? I do too. I have some over here that I have not put ink on yet. And they're probably, uh, the other thing is they're retiring. So hang on, I'll tell you what it's called. Da, 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 da. There's an event here someplace. Uninked stamp sets. That's exactly what it is. It's nothing catchy or flashy. <laughs> oh, she took all that time to tell us that for Pete's sakes. Anyways, that's where that's where our challenge is. So there's going to be a whole array of different ideas. And these people are so creative. I love looking at their stuff. So it's a blog hop that will come out May 1st. And we're using uninked stamp sets. Maybe it doesn't have to be retired. I'll have to read. But anyways, mine will be retired because I want to use them. Right? Or maybe it doesn't. Maybe I'll use something out of the spring mini catalog. Who knows? Anyways, I'll come up with something. It'll be a lot of fun. And, um, yeah, so I think we're done. And I only lasted an hour and 10 minutes. Are you kidding me? I thought this was going to take so long. Is that flamingo retired? I'm pretty sure it is. 
I'm pretty sure the flamingo is retired. I can't remember what it was called either, but we don't. I don't think we sell it anymore. <laughs> Marion says she has way too many of those. Lynn says beautiful cards tonight. Thank you so much, Lynn. Thank you. Connie has a few uninked stamp sets. So maybe you need to, after you get done with your one sheet wonder, maybe you need to um, take my challenge and make something out of one of those uninked stamp sets. And I see Linda's on here tonight. Thank you so much, Linda, for that idea. Like I have guarded that box of cards that you sent me with like my life going, oh, I got to make this. I want to make this. What am I going to do? And it finally came together for me today so yeah I love the stuff that you send me so yeah. keep it coming sister <laughs> all right you guys um I did sleep really good Marsha I did you know the night before I I didn't get to sleep till 3 a.m I went to bed at about probably one and then Haley called me at 1 30 and Oh my Lord, she was crying so hard. I just felt like, ah. you know how moms are when their kids are hurting, right? So yeah, I couldn't get to sleep till 3 a.m. And then I was popping out of bed like, what's happening? Ah. I think she um, called me again at 630. So yeah, it was a it was a night, right? But she did fabulous. She was, she was our rock star birthing mama. <laughs> yeah. All right, you guys, I can't think of anything else. I do plan on being live again tomorrow. I've got some cards stacked up over here. Even if I don't get time to create something new, it is new what I'm going to show you. I obviously haven't shown you before, but we'll see how that goes. I do plan on going over to Weedley. Oh, I mean Val's house. <laughs> Isn't that the cutest little name? I just, that never entered my mind. Valerie. Yeah. And then somebody sent me, who was it? Patty, I think it was Patty today, sent me a thing saying, you know, there's a song, Valerie. And I did find a song um, that says Valerie in it. And it was by Steve Kinwood, I think. Stephen Kinwood, Steve Kinwood. But then I had to sing it because it's an 80s song. Yeah. So. Oh, Patricia says, my husband thought you said you had chosen a stamp set that you hadn't eaten yet. Well, no, Steve feeds me good enough that I don't have to eat any of my stamp sets. I've never, <laughs> just kidding. I do have a bunch of chocolates over here, though. Is Bev watching? Yeah. I have a bag of Christmas kisses that I thought I was going to use to put in and give away as gifts that never really happened. So um, it's a huge bag of kisses. I'm slowly weeding through it. I'm enjoying them. I only have like maybe one a day. That's my little my little deal. And speaking of which, oh yeah, I had a sandwich today. I ate some breakfast. I had cream of wheat, malto meal, malto meal, and um, a piece of toast. But then I ate a sandwich later. And I haven't eaten supper yet, so I think I might do that. Um, I know, Deb says, grand baby gonna be a valley girl. I know, that's what I was thought. Valley, valley. Valley girl, valley girl. Remember that? Remember that whole thing, the valley girl? There's a Valerie by Amy Winehouse. Okay, I'll have to listen at that to that too. I don't know. Amy Winehouse. Ugh, that was tragic. Um, it is two kisses, Gerilyn. I was holding up two kisses, but I will only eat one of them. And Mickey sent me an email. Thank you, Mickey. I did go through all my email the first thing this morning because I had, again, I was into the four to or five to six hundred emails to sort through. And believe me, I don't read them all because some of them are just junk and some of them are things that I subscribe to, but I still have to weed through all of them, so I try not to miss any of your guys' emails. Yeah. Yeah. Her generation won't even know Valley Girl. I'll make sure she does. Don't you worry. Yeah. Oh, my gosh. I can't wait to go hold her again. It's kind of funny, too, because I'm not really a big baby fan. Like, you know how you're the auntie where you get to somebody's house and there's a baby and you're like, oh, my Lord, let me... Let me hold the baby. I want to hold the baby. I'm not that person. I'm like, you hold your own baby. <laughs> Maybe that I should have told you that because that sounds really horrible, right? But I mean, there are baby people and there are not baby people, right? And I've never really been much of a baby person, but I'll tell you what. I just can't get enough of her. Like, I want to go back right now. 
Like, maybe I will. No, I won't. I told Jared today. Haley goes, Mom, you can come back over tomorrow. And I'm like, oh, thank you so much. But um, I told Jared, I said, you know what? If you get sick of me, all you need to say is, well, maybe me and Haley need some time with Val by ourselves. I will get that hint because I'm not that person who's going to think that, okay, well, I'll give him a couple hours and I'll be back. I that No, I'm not crude like that. But... I told him, I said, I will get the hint and I won't come back until you tell me to come back. And I'll be, and I won't be mad at you. I'll be fine. But, um, you know how people are like that? They just can't, it's like, oh gosh, here comes my aunt again. Ugh. Um, <laughs> I don't have any aunts like that. But anyways, I know people do. I won't be that person because, you know, you have to be respectful of them and their time that they get to spend together. And maybe I'll go back tonight. No, I'm just kidding. I won't, but I'll probably get up early tomorrow morning and get my butt going so I can go over there. And I know Haley wants me there too, so that's even better. <laughs> yeah, because she just wants to just share her baby with everybody and I feel so bad because she can't. And it sucks. It just sucks butt right now. Steve has not seen the baby. Um, he was all grubby today, and when I went to leave, he would have needed to take a shower. And I'm like, no, I can't wait. I have Facebook Live tonight. I'm going to see that baby right now. And there wasn't much time be between when Haley told us they were headed home, and I needed to be back here for Facebook Live. So he'll see the baby tomorrow. Tammy says her mom breaks out with hives when she's around babies. <laughs> That's funny stuff. <laughs> I feel bad for her. Huh. That's funny. <laughs> Anyways, how are you guys doing? Yeah, see, Linda says she's not a baby person either, but she couldn't wait to go back to work. Um, yeah, I... No, so that's a funny thing too, Linda. When I had Haley, oh my gosh, I... That was my life. I was a mom, and all I wanted to do was spend time with her. We never had babysitters. We didn't go out. Um, I worked full time, so when I wasn't working, I was with my child. Like, that's what I wanted to do. And I adored her and loved her. I enjoyed every minute of her being a baby and a toddler. And I just loved all of that. But that was my own kid. And that's different. Like, yeah, right? <laughs> like, that's your kid. It's not my kid. No, I'm not saying that about Val, because, like, I want to squeeze her to death. <laughs> But it's weird when you, when it's your kid, it's a little different. And oh, I did. I took Haley every place. We never had babysitters, never did anything without her. Maybe it was a little weird, but I, I, I can see Haley being that way too. Like that's going to consume her and she's going to be just like, it's going to be all about baby as, as it, sh as it should be. And she better keep Jared in there too, because he is pretty amazing. Like he was, I, I wish he would have been my coach. That would be weird. <laughs> That's a little creepy. <laughs> so anyways, how are you guys doing? I know that I said that we got, um, yeah, Deanne says Haley needs her mama right now, right? I think so too. Um, we got our extended stay-at-home order. <sighs> I know Steve said today, he's like, I don't know how much more of this I can take. I'm like, yeah, just calm yourself down. I know, but it's it was really nice here today. Like the weather is starting to get really nice. So I think we'll be able to go for some Harley rides and I think that'll help him a lot. I don't know where we're going to go because <laughs> nothing's open. But um, just to tool around, you know, that, that would be nice. But yeah, it was nice here. Are you guys doing okay? Is everybody okay out there? Remember what I told you. If you're feeling lonely, you have friends on Facebook and when you click on that instant messenger, which is between your bell and and the people sign and your blue bar across the top, you have your name and then it says home and then it says create and then it has people. And then it's got a little bubble with a lightning bolt in it. That's your instant messenger. When you click on that, you can instant or private message any of your Facebook friends. And I'm assuming that we all have friends on there that are close, right? Like I'm... Anna's on there, and my Stephanie, my stepdaughter Stephanie, my stepdaughter Anna, um, my friend Terry, my friend, well, Rachel isn't on there, but um, my friend Kathy and Sarah and Lisa, and I could just go on and on. If you're feeling like you need to talk to a, like, kind of a real person, 
go on there and hit that little video camera. That's going to call your friend. You bring them up like you're going to type a message. You click on that video camera, and that is going to bring them up on your device, whether you're on an iPad, a phone. If I do it on my laptop, they come right up on my screen, and you can do it with multiple people. Um, me and my friends, Dina and Barb, we do it all the time. We'll all three be on the screen at once, just chatting and laughing until we cry. If you're feeling isolated, you need to do that. Get in touch with one of your friends and just chat. Find out how they're doing. How are you doing? How is, how is everything going? And I have Carrie asking me if I'll be much longer. Hang on. <laughs> I'm live right now. I just sent her that in a message. She has no idea, I'm sure. <laughs> oh my gosh, that's so funny. Anyways, oh, I'm missing all of your... My phone wasn't... Oh, now it just went away. My phone wasn't scrolling, you guys. Faileen says, it's been a very long quarantine. I am on vacation this week. Very much needed. Oh, good for you. I know, and for those of you that are still working, for those of you that are dealing with, you know, like, especially medical people, oh stressful. Like, think about that, you guys. If you're not one of the people that's an essential worker, we're just stuck at home. They're still going to work every day and they have to deal with the stress of knowing that the people they're serving could possibly infect them with this virus. I never really thought about it that way, but that really puts a new light on things, doesn't it? Like, that's, that's stressful. So, bless all of you essential workers. I'm so very glad and grateful for what you do to keep our country running, number one. And, you know, the stress that you're dealing with on a day-to-day -day basis, my heart goes out to you. Seriously. And, um, yeah, May 26th. Now we're supposed to stay home till May 26th. Are you flipping kidding me? <laughs> That's the way I feel. I just want to go out to lunch. But not a big deal. I'll be fine. But I want you to know that if you need to reach out to somebody, instant message, video, chat with one of your friends on Facebook. Maybe it's somebody you haven't talked to in years. Maybe it's your old um, neighbor that you used to live by that you still keep up with on Facebook, but you've moved away or they moved away. Chat with them. It'll be fun. Catch up. Find out what their perspective is on this, right? If nothing else, you've always got something to talk about. So what do you think about the CQ 2020? How's that, how's that working for you? <laughs> there you go. It's kind of like the weather. So how's your weather in the neck of the, your neck of the woods? But yeah, I, um, I just think it's good if you're feeling isolated to reach out to somebody. And uh, how is Jared doing? Leon asks, how is Jared doing? Everybody always asks about the mom, but not the dad. Jared is a rock star, and he is so smitten with this little girl. And it was funny, too, because none of her clothes fit, like, none of them. Like, she needs preemie clothes. She's such a tiny little, tiny little thing. But he is just, like, mesmerized. This little girl's going to wrap him around her fingers like you can't believe. <laughs> yeah. Oh, and Lois says, she was like me. She loved being a mom. Never had sitters. I was never a babysitter either, so I had no idea what I was doing. And um, I never had babysitters for Haley. Like, I can count maybe on one hand, probably less than that of the time I ever had babysitters for her. From the time she was two years old, she was hunting with me because I wasn't going to leave her sit home with the babysitter. That's not fun. So we, I made her a little blaze orange outfit. I put lace around the bottom of it. I made her a little... A little, um, like a little overcoat to go over winter coat. So she had snow bibs on and a winter coat. And then I made this coat big enough it went over. It had a little lace around the bottom. It was blaze orange. And she went hunting with us. And um, it was totally cool. I took her bear hunting. I took her deer hunting. We did everything together. That's, I don't know. I just, I loved it. I loved, I loved having her with me. And I loved being a mom. I still love being a mom. But, you know, I loved... I loved her and I just wanted to spend all my time with her. Yeah. Oh, and Marcia says her daughter's fiance is a firefighter. Such a worry. Yeah, that is. That is. And Linda Ray made 59 masks. Oh my gosh. That's awesome. And she's been pulling weeds and cleaning the chicken coop. Oh, I hate chicken coops. We raise chickens. I hate, I'm sorry. I hate chickens. 
I'm allergic to them. That's a problem. And I used to have to get the eggs and then they do this in there and then they'd flip up the dander and then I'd start sneezing. I hated them. I just hated them. Yeah, but I like eggs. So yeah. Yeah. And Beth says she can't wait to hug people in person. I know, right? It's so weird. Uh, Lots of reorganization going on right now. Um, I wish there was at my house too, but I have to say I've been pretty darn busy. Like, it's like kind of normal for me. My 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 plate overrunneth, and I'm extremely busy from sun up to way past sundown. Well, I don't get up at sun up. Let's be real. <laughs> About nine nine thirty. <laughs> But I'm still operating just like I was before this started, pretty much, except I can't go out to lunch or shopping. I really miss shopping, too. But I'm saving a lot of money, and I'm not gaining any weight because I'm still eating the same amount. I'm not going out to eat. So that's been pretty lucky. I know some people are like, oh, my Lord, I've gained so much weight. Bah. Yeah, and Linda's supposed to be in Maui July 1st with her grandkids. You know, they haven't called off the Stampin' Up! trip to Maui yet. I don't have a lot of hope that it's going to happen, but I'm keeping my fingers crossed because I do want to go to Maui. I, I don't know. I think that might be too soon. It's going to be really sad, right? Yeah. Um, Judy says she's happy the golf courses are open. Yep, Steve got to go golfing, and he hurt so bad because they, they don't allow carts on the golf courses. They're too wet. And it's supposed to rain Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday this week. So the courses are going to be a mess again. But they did open up the courses. Deb says she retired from last year from nursing after 43 years. And she feels a tad bit guilty about being home. I get that too. I'm very grateful that you're home. but And thank you for your service. But yeah, I, I, would, I, I can understand that. She'd feel a little bit. Um... We just had that happen to a nurse in our area. She brought it home and infected her husband. How horrible, right? And now we've got this precious little baby and we have to be more careful than ever because could you imagine? Like, I'll start crying, but could you imagine if you brought that home to that to the innocent little, your kids or the baby or the whatever, you know, anybody's. It's not that mine is, well, she's pretty great. <laughs> But you know what I mean, right? Yeah, that would be horrible. And Tammy got to hug her son and his wife for the first time in over a month. She had to travel an hour to do it. And that's so sweet. Yeah. All right, you guys. I think I am going to let you go. I'm just kind of going through your um, messages here. I hope I didn't miss anything. Thank you guys so much for tuning in. Please make sure you sh hit that share button. That really helps me out. I appreciate it. And um, I don't know what time I'll be live tomorrow. I have no idea what my schedule is going to be. But I am going over to see Val, my little Val. And I'm going to hog her a little bit. <laughs> you know I am. Yeah, be safe, everyone. Like Lisa says, be safe, everybody. Um, stay safe. And uh, keep your spirits up. We're going to get through this. We don't want to um, be let out in public again and have a reoccurrence of this. Like we want to get this done and over with in one shot. And be back to the great nation that we are. Right? Yeah. All right, you guys. Have a great Sunday night. I'll see you back here again on Monday. And congratulations to my winners. If you're watching now or later on YouTube, please click on that share button. Ring that bell. Give me a thumbs up. Everything helps. I really appreciate it. Leave a comment. If you're on YouTube, that helps with all that analytic internet world magic stuff. I don't know how, but it does. <laughs> I am going to enjoy the rest of my night, Susan, and I'm going to enjoy my baby tomorrow. Oops, did I say my baby? I did. Bye, you guys.